How's it going, people? Doing damn good. Hope you are too. Thought I'd have some more of this Angry Orchard hard cider. And a little more DNC for our edification. Okay. Have not read this in advance, so we're both in for a surprise. All right, where are we? Section 86. Revelation. Given through Joseph Smith the prophet. At Kirtland, Ohio, December 6th, 1832. Exposition of the Lord's parable concerning the wheat and the tares, those being weeds or a plant that's out of place in the wrong area, a non-viable plant by human standards. Um, its application to the latter days, which would be then and now and in the future. It just, the latter days just keep going. Until they stop. Eventually, I guess. One. Verily, thus saith the Lord unto you, my servants, Concerning the parable of the wheat and of the tares, like they said the mast did. Two, behold, verily, I say, the field was the world. Nice and flat. You could even see all the kingdoms from a mountaintop. Oh. And the apostles were the sowers of the seed. Three. And after they have fallen asleep, the great persecutor of the church. Oh, don't be picking on those poor churches. The apostate, the whore, even Babylon, will maketh all nations to drink of her cup. Would that be like crude oil, being that Babylon is now Iraq? And what else do they have that's liquid that's of any value to us? A lot of crude. Uh, and whose heart the enemy, even Satan, oh, Satan, uh, sitteth to rain, behold, he soweth the tares. The devil makes weeds, so he made poison sumac. That's, I didn't think God would make something nice, you know, like, you know, viruses and parasites. And, uh, the devil makes those. You heard it right there. He soweth the tares. Wherefore, the tares choke the wheat and drive the church into the wilderness. For, but behold, in the last days, even now, while the Lord is beginning to bring forth the word, he's just getting started, and the blade is springing up and is yet tender. Behold, verily, I say unto you, the angels are crying unto the Lord day and night. No wonder he's not listening. It's probably sensory overload, you know. You can only hear so much whining before you stop giving a fuck. Who are ready and waiting to be sent forth to reap down the fields. <sighs> Six. But the Lord said, 
saith unto them, Pluck not up the tares. I mean, that would take a long time, right? Got to be a better way. While the blade is yet tender. And then they got something in parentheses. Uh, For verily your faith is weak. In parentheses. But it's the angels that are crying day and night because they want to reap the fields. <laughs> so whose faith is weak? Theirs? I guess he means the apostles. No, I guess he means us. It seems to be that he's talking about the angels, though, doesn't it? In parentheses. Lest you destroy the wheat also. Yeah, so don't be, you know, wait till you're ready to harvest and then just... Anyway, it makes sense. I'm a, I'm a farm boy myself, or at least I used to be. I'm a city slicker now. All right. Seven. Therefore, let the wheat and the tares grow together until the harvest is fully ripe. Then ye shall first gather out the wheat from among the tares. And after the gathering of the wheat, behold, and lo, the tares are bound in bundles, and the field remaineth to be burned. Eight. Therefore, thus saith the Lord unto you, with whom the priesthood hath continued through the lineage of your fathers. Nine. For ye are lawful heirs according to the flesh, and have been hid from the world, which uh, with Christ in God. 10. Therefore, your life and the priesthood have remained, and must needs remain. through you and your lineage, until the restoration of all things, spoken by the mouths of all the holy prophets since the world began. You mean there were prophets around when the world began? Did they, like, breathe hydrogen or something? Or was it nitrogen? No, it's nitrogen now. I don't remember. Um, yeah, there were saints. Well, I mean, the world was only five days old, and then on the sixth day, God got everything right, and then it tuckered him out, and he needed to rest on the seventh day. And other than some temper tantrums, we really can't be sure he's doing anything these days. And I'm, neither is Odin or Zeus, you know, or, or a Mazda or whatever. Uh, yeah, they're, anyway, yeah, none of them are doing anything. Eleven. Therefore, blessed are ye if ye continue in my goodness. And through this priesthood, a Savior unto my people Israel. The Lord has said it. Amen. And that's it for uh, 86. Uh, that was interesting. Did you learn anything? I hope you'll share it if you did. Video, video response, comment, whatever. Just no personal messages unless you want to show me something interesting. <laughs> if you want to comment, do it where it goes, please. Because it's all wide open. I don't strain things. I don't censor things. Just don't spam me. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. Bye.